One issue that I see people are frequently struggling with is the date formatting. You try to format from maybe some text, you change the column format into date, and you just receive an error. And for this, I want to show you one of the most common reasons and how you can solve it. If we come to the transform data, we have some example data that I wanted to use to show you this case. If we scroll across here, this is on GPS data. If we scroll across here, we have the session date. And from what we can see here, we have the uh, structured format. It's the same for every row. Everything seems fine. We can see that there is a text. And if we now try to modify this one into a date, we get this error. And the problem is, if we come in here and have a look at what is it actually saying? It's just saying that it's for the date format and we can't parse the input provided as a date value. And then it just provides what was the input. And even if we try to modify, we can think, okay, maybe that's because we have dot instead of a slash or the format is slightly wrong. If we try to replace the values and we put dot and replace by a slash, and we hit OK, and that was fine. And if we now try to modify to date again, we can see how we get the same problem. The solution to this is very simple. A lot of the time is because of the difference between putting the month or the day first. And that is different in different countries. And for that, you can very easily do this in Power BI using local if we select this one, we select the date format. So this is the type of data we would like. And I am Norwegian and in Norway, we always put the day first. So 29, 03, so March, and then the year. So we put day, month, and year. So what poor guy is saying that? So as an example input for your way of writing it is like this and when we just like another example, if we take the one we already had, it will be the opposite. If we now hit OK, that is working completely fine. And you can see what it's actually done is just swap those around. So it said that let's just put the month first, not the day, and then he's happy. So now when we try to transform the data, we come to date, we can use all the date functionalities that's already built into Power BI. You can see also here, the code that was written and we see now that the format is Norwegian and it's a date format. So that's how you very easily can get around the normal problem that people are facing with creating the date format when you have a session date in the text format. Hope you liked the video. If you did, remember the subscribe button. If you like our content, we know that you like it and we will create more for you. See you later on.